purchases from eyesupspace.com. So first I just want to review um, the all over cover stick and this stuff is great for a dollar. This is in light beige. The only thing I don't like about it is that it smells just like the color sticks which is like a lemonade orangey stuff and I feel like concealers and you know face products like that shouldn't have that smell. I'd rather it have that like makeup smell if you know what I mean. Whatever, we'll just move right on. Next, I wanted to review these Luscious Lipsticks. Now, these are great. I really like them. I have these three and then Baby Lips as well. Um, now, I didn't do a, a haul when I got these because it, that order was really, really big and it was a lot of the dollar stuff. So, whatever. These are it. Um, I'll do a swatch of this one just so you guys can see the payoff. It's not, you know, amazing. It's more, I don't know why it's called a lipstick thick even though it's more like a lip gloss so there's that color for you it looks really bright actually but it's you know eh. there you go you see it's very shiny like a lip gloss not like a lipstick and this one again was in cherry tart all right next I'm doing a review on the studio blushes so this is like a review and uh what do I call it? Demonstration, because I'm no, I'm not wearing any blush right now, so I'm gonna apply one. And the, then the colors here are tickled pink, peachy keen, and mellow mauve. And this one has become my favorite, just because it's the darkest and the brightest. So I put this on in a video, in my Elf look video. So I'm gonna show you guys this one with um, th this one meaning uh, tickled pink. This is just a small like travel brush from Beauty of Essence, Essence of Beauty. Just so you guys can see the payoff. My light is too bright. There. So you guys can see that. The color payoff is really good. For being three dollars, I mean. There you go. Now I have on blush for the rest of the video. Let me just spin that out. The lighting, I couldn't see what I was doing, but so yeah, these are great for three bucks. They're great Christmas gifts if you guys can get your hands on them. And they're three dollars. So, all right. Next, I want to do a review on the tinted moisturizer. Now, this stuff is like awesome on the go. Tiny little. That's good and bad. Tiny good because you can stick it in your purse and it won't weigh much good because it is super creamy it's, it's almost thick it's I want to it's almost like a foundation and it's just like really really nice the good thing about them is that they're a dollar you can buy them in several shades so you can get the right one and then once you do you can make another order and get a bunch of them I just made two more of these because I have a thing I'm going to be running out so that is a good buy Next are their lip liners. Now, this one is in Bark, and I'm going to swatch it right here for you guys. Um, it has gray color payoff. It's really, really creamy. It's the thinner line right there. I really like them. Um, very creamy, very easy to put on. So for a dollar, you guys should definitely get these. I bought them all because, you know, you never know when you might need some lip liner. And now my next favorite thing, oh, I'm loving this, is the e.l.f mineral gloss. This stuff is awesome. I just made a purchase some more to have some backups because they are a little bit small. But here's a swatch. This was this one is an O natural. And that's it right there. But you see next to the these look just like when you don't look at them, they look just like MAC lip glosses. I think they're the same size too. I don't have a MAC lip gloss here with me so and then the last thing I'm going to review is um, the 2-in-1 conditioning gloss. 
Now this is very big, so it's a nice size. I'm wearing it right now. As you can tell, the color in the tube looks nothing like what's on my lids. It's very sticky, super, super sticky, which I don't like. It has a nice applicator. I mean, it's really small. It's not like a regular slant tip. It's tiny, 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 tiny. So it's like you have to keep going around and spreading it out and whatnot. But it, it does feel moisturizing. So that's good, I guess. But yeah, I'll choose the dollar um, lip liquid lipstick over this any day, just so you guys know, in case you want my opinion. Alrighty, so that is my e.l.f. review so far. I have more products to review. I have to try them out still, um, decide which ones I'm going to do it on and stuff. But I have one more thing to say. I've been thinking about and commenting on people's videos. I'm thinking of dyeing my hair red. And money's tight right now, so I don't want to go get it professionally done. So I bought this today. Oh, look how gorgeous. Tell me what you guys think. Should I do it? I'm scared. I don't know. Let me know. Let me know if you have any tips, if you think it'll work, if it won't work. I don't know. I'm not good at at home dye jobs. So please let me know. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. Ciao.